The sound running, interview take one. I started playing the Mbira 20 years ago, and how I started was just, it was just a hobby. Um, when I joined Batanai Marimba, I tried playing it, and I was encouraged to play it professionally by, um, with Zerai Zirevo and uh, Chatu Oditru, but it wasn't really in me back then. It was only much later, um, around about uh, 2017, when I was doing my master's, and uh, the late, the maestro, Mbira player, Chatu Oditru, sat me down and said, how can you uh, do a um, master's on uh, identity and using talking about Mbira when you don't actually play it? So he sat me down and... Uh, well, to cut a story, uh, a long story short, here I am now playing Mira. <laughs> Much as we had, we were taught the British culture uh, as a British colony, but they don't understand a lot about us. So I then decided I would start African fusion which is an education um, uh, sector. Uh, and I go in schools, young offenders units, uh, teachers uh, inserts, I speak to head teachers. And just to bring that awareness of our culture. So it's not about teaching, uh, it's about a sharing of cultures. It's about um, talking to the other in a, in a in a beautiful way because music is ubiquitous everybody understand it understands it it's a universal language which anybody can speak so i go in and teach about our clothes our skin i talk about that our hair our jewelry um how we uh in touch with uh, earth or we are the environment want to join the likes of Mbia Stella Chueshe, Mbuya Biola Joko, Ho Masike, Chuoniso Maraire, the list goes on. Those strong matriarchs, those women who played the Mbira, who still play the Mbira, and uh, taking it on international stages and say there's really absolutely nothing wrong in playing the Mbira. Uh, it's a way of self-expression. It's a way of... Um, um, getting closer to yourself within and meditating, it heals and um, it's, 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 um, it's our heritage, it's leaving a legacy, it's um, saying this is who we are.